Hello everyone and welcome to my video cast on how to work with uh, Lightroom. You can find information about Lightroom and photography at www.aurora.is. Uh, in this first episode of about Lightroom and workflow, we're gonna take a look at importing files into Lightroom. Uh, by no, now you should all know about uh, importing but uh, I'm starting with that because it's an important uh, thing in the workflow in the beginning doing things right from the beginning. So as you can see I've got some, some, some hard disks and what I basically do I do import all uh, my files uh, to the hard drive of my computer. Why do I do that? That is uh, because I'm pretty much using a laptop and I'm on the move a lot so I want to do it the old school way. Uh, also to keep better control of my images and uh, how they are saved. So I save them to, to the folder that I call raw uh, and I name that folder by month, then I name each folder from, that is, every car gets the name of the day plus ending, uh, starting with, with, with numbers. This is the first card of the day that I put in, into here. This is the second card, and as you can see, I've been playing around with the name giving. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna import those images into Lightroom. We go to import, we select uh, from raw, we select the folder that we're gonna import and we choose import. Here I do nothing of those options, you can have them uh, converted to GNG, uh, DNG, you can move them to a new location, you can copy uh, the images and add them uh, to the catalog through a new lo location. I, uh, in the first step, I just keep them there where, where I've put them. In the next step, I put on a preset, a development preset. Uh, there is uh, by, you could, could have none as you can see here, uh, there is a default uh, preset from Lightroom but I've made a uh, bunch of, of, of presets that I like to use based on uh, whether it's winter, summer, uh, what kind of color there is in the light, uh, what I'm working on, am I working in the studio, uh, am, am I working with, with flash uh, or, or whatever I'm, I'm doing. So for this one I'm gonna choose this one which is Iceland uh, 45, uh, 54k at winter. The next thing is the metadata. Here you can also make your own presets and I've made one for Iceland and we'll go better into that in, in, in future. How to make uh, this set of metadata and why. This is a pretty important uh, thing in the workflow in the way of, of keeping down the typing that you do. Uh, if you put up a metadata, a preset, uh, it can help pretty much in, in streamlining the workflow. As you can see, uh, the last keywords I used when importing images uh, are those keywords here, and I do put those. These are general uh, keywords that go on every single image that is going to be imported in this uh, part. So they are general. Uh, I know I have some farm, I have some road, I have some horses. I don't put them in here because that's specific keywords for images. This is for every single image that is going to be imported. So I can say it was shot in Iceland, it's winter, it's snow, it was daytime and it was outdoors. So I put those in here and this will once again, this here uh, field helps quite a lot in, 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 in improving. I could put, for example, I know these were uh, shot in south of Iceland, southern Iceland I put here. So uh, I, can, I can type in pretty much what and the list that comes down when, when I type in anything uh, is from all the 
keywords that I have in my keyword list, which we'll again take a look at later. I choose to keep the previews in minimal and then I import. Uh, you can see the folder appears here, the numbers are here, the images start to come in, you can see the progress of the images up here, and as you can see the, on the images here we have those three little dots above each and every image. This, these dots, uh, they go away as soon as uh, Lightroom has applied the development preset and, and generated the, the thumbnail or, or the preview file. So now as you can see it darkens, it blue, gets a little bit more blue. It's, it's the way uh, that I like to start with. Uh, we can see it here in the sky why this is. So here I start by uh, going through the images and decide which image I'm gonna keep and which I'm not gonna keep. Uh, this one for example I hit X which is set as reject you could also do it down here. Uh, I'm gonna throw that away. Uh, I'm gonna throw this one away. I'm gonna throw this one away. Uh, I go through the images like that and take a look at them and see if I like them or not and, and whether they can be salvaged or not. So once I've done that we can see we've got those files here with X on it. Uh, and Lightroom is, is working on, on putting the previews and everything on those images. Now I can go to delete rejected photos. I go and once again uh, Lightroom is working so it's so busy it couldn't find them. We could see them there behind but it didn't find them. Once in a while this happens. So we go to delete rejected photos and here we can see the four photos that I have selected and I delete them from disks. No good, worth nothing, just throw them away. Then is the next step. I go through the images and I rate them. This one eh, possibly can be worked on. I give it two stars. Uh, this one, I don't know if I'm going to do anything with it. I give it one star. This one might become something. Uh, this one, I don't know yet, so I wait. This one, there's a spot here on the lens because of the snow that probably I, I can't do anything with it and so on. I go and I find some image that well I definitely gonna try this one so in this steps I go from one to three star so uh, that's in the basic so I go back here I have one I have two images with one star now I can go and I can select by rating two stars, I can select by rating one star. The one star images, when flipping through them, as you can see there are only two and I'm definitely gonna throw this one away. So I put X here. Um, I'm still not sure about this one. Might become something in black and white, I don't know. So I have two selected, I have, uh, but this one has been rejected. So once again I can go I say delete rejected photos, finds one and delete it from disk. Now when I've done gone through all the images and, and done this, it's about time that I start renaming the files. Renaming the files is a series for the next episode. Uh, I hope you learn something from this and if uh, you liked it, log on, uh, register to the site uh, aurora.is. You can register there and leave comment uh, to this video and other uh, things there. Thank you and hope you hope to see you soon.